Hello everyone, Eccentricscape here, and today I'm going to tell you guys about a really dirty way to PK in the wilderness. The wilderness is pretty messed up already, so I don't advise people doing it, though I discovered this simple loophole, and uh, I thought I'd share it with you guys so you know as well. So, uh, how do you never lose a fight in the wilderness? Well, when you win a fight, that's great. Uh, however, when you lose your fight, you will lose your items. The item goes to the person who has dealt the most damage and uh, often you will kill someone too quickly only for someone else to get the drop. This can be abused. So what are the facts that will make this work? Well firstly the person who does the most damage will get the kill. Also every person involved cannot leave the wilderness to restock during this time or hop worlds. I also believe there is a time limit where the damage count resets, though I am not 100% sure. So to pull this off you will need a friend. You and your friend needs to gear up in the PK world in the appropriate gear and food. High risk fights will yield the greatest profit, but as nice runescapers, we thought we won't piss player killers off so we got out the bot gear for banter, so the player killer won't lose much for not getting the drop. The person not fighting would then start to deal damage to his friend. The person geared up might want to start attacking first, so he or she skulls and you don't. This will make it easier to find fights and for you to loot the stuff later on. Uh, damage your friend until they are empty on food. You will then fill up your friend's inventory with food again and you'll be ready to find the fight. So move into a more crowded area, in this case it's Edgeville World 18. Uh, you cannot hop worlds or leave the wilderness remember, so bear that in mind beforehand. So we decide to pick up a fight with this Gano maid, clearly rushing and pissing people off. And as you can see, as long as we, you've dealt the most damage, you will get the loot. Act innocent like a looter and you should be left alone. Even if you get attacked, if you remain unscored, you should be able to pick up at least 3 items and then die and keep them. Uh, that is why you ask your friends to skull on you. This way you can just get your gear back, uh, ready for another fight in which you hope to have better luck in winning it. So that's it guys, I stumbled across this loophole after killing someone and not getting the kill. Though it could have been accidental, I feel you guys might want to know about the potential of this happening especially in arranged high risk fights. I feel this can be abused so easily that Jagex needs to make changes so it's harder for people to abuse it, such as resetting the damage counter when there is a new fight. However, that can be a problem with rushes. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, I will see you guys for my next video.